I have found a hidden gem here. No tourists around, very few, not like everywhere else. This is the most gorgeous little river. I forgot the name of it, but there's supposed to be coke, some errant kokanee that come up here, but just talked to a fisherman upstream, said there's a rainbow in here. Look at this, there's one rising right there. I could see him in there. Right at the tip of that rock. Not very big, but five inches. But he's rising to stuff. Look, there's another one down there. Wow. Insanely gorgeous. I said I couldn't remember the name of this river earlier and I looked it up but I'm not even gonna say where in Colorado it is. I'll just say it's part of the Gunnison and it has the name Lake in its name. But this is such a hidden gem. There's only been a couple of day people and two set up tents where they could. There's hardly any place to set up a tent. Hardly a place to turn around. So I'm just going to leave this a hidden gem. Alright. I can't stand it no more. I gotta at least try to throw a fly in here. Oh, look at that pool. It's gotta be... Looks are deceiving, looks like six feet deep, but I bet it's ten. And you can about see the bottom. And that's where a trout would be hiding. You can cast from right there. And don't forget the net. You always forget the net. Just in case. I don't see anything swimming, but we have to fish it deep. Wow. Well, went all the way up there. Oh, about where those cliff faces. Came back down here. Had one on, looked like a rainbow, but he got off. He started running up into the shallows. He got off. Oh well. Tried all the rest of it. Nothing. So basically, the one fish here. Saturday just found out it's Sunday and I've got a 12 hour ride back to Texas ahead of me and it looks like 70 miles of this scary mountain crap and the truck just hates it so much of Colorado is on fire. Look at all those dead trees. So, assuming it's the pine borer insect, the invasive insect from wherever. But Jesus, this is just a tender box. This is some pass. I guess I'm going from the west side of the Continental Divide to the east side. At one point, I was doing 35 miles an hour with it floored. 
Forerunner doesn't like it. Too much weight, too little oxygen. Oh good, cows. This asshole. 